much better. Hey everybody, welcome to episode number two of the cud. So in episode one, I, or or just with the cud in general. So what the cud was supposed to be was a, a I, I don't know what you would call it, a video podcast. I just don't, I don't know what I'm calling this yet. A video podcast of news and views of what's going on in the cattle industry, veterinary medicine, and that's about it, because I don't know about anything else besides that. Uh, I was supposed to do it for a publication, submitted my first episode, The Cud, and they just were having technical difficulties. They're not publishing right now, and I'm kind of, instead of just not doing it, I'm just doing it anyways. I don't know. I'm just, I really like the result in the first episode. Uh, I would love to get some feedback on some more and really once they start doing something, I just don't want to stop. So this is episode two of the cut. News and views of the beef cattle industry. If publication starts going again, then I'll dump it into there. If it doesn't, then I still have these. Okay, so in episode two, we're talking about worms. We're talking all about parasites and and specifically intestinal parasites in beef cattle. So this is something that I'm like weirdly passionate about and I have no idea why. I, I don't really think that I love parasitology in vet school. The only thing I could remember back then was that the pre-patent period or the time that it takes to go from an egg to an adult is 21 days in most of the parasites and that was just always my guess on the test. 21 days usually right it's always right with parasites here's the here's the deal we have ivermectin that is like the typical pour on ivermec it's a jack of all trades master of none so it's really good at getting okay at getting lice and the ectoparasites mites and stuff like that and it's okay at getting internal parasites it's not great at getting either so jack of all trades master of none and it's been used ad nauseum it, it's still given just about to every animal at least in the fall and sometimes even in the spring so given to animals twice a year for years and years and years and years and now we're seeing the potential of some resistance cropping up to that products in some of the trial work that I've done when we give uh, just a single shot of Ivamec or an Ivermectin uh, we only get about a 70% reduction in fecal egg counts or the number of eggs that we can count in a three gram sample of feces. So not spectacular. We've been, I guess, approaching deworming a little bit differently than just mass treating all the cows in the fall and then maybe even again in the spring. What we do is a strategic approach where we're actually getting guys to do fecal egg counts on their cows out on pastures. So we send our summer student out, he takes fecals, he sends them to the lab, we get results back and we can tell guys you have a low burden, you have a moderate burden, or you have a high burden and then we can we can pick and choose what treatment strategy we're going to go with so we can either do a uh, on pasture deworming right there or they don't need anything and some guys are even saying well if my parasite level is so low do i really need to go with ivamec in the fall and maybe i should go with an ectoparasite control product like a synthetic pyrethroid uh, brand names would be like backline or boss or saber uh, just to control the lice because i don't really need to worry about intestinal parasites in my herd because i've already checked the other thing with that is also strategic deworming out on pasture so there's some benefits when you have a lot of parasites in your cows while they're out on pasture uh, that you can strategically time to kind of clean up your pasture and get the most bang for your buck so what we like to do is about four weeks post pasture turnout so when cows go out on grass we'll take that sample and and look at it and then about six weeks or so into that grazing season is when we would hit them with uh, typically a fenbendazole in their mineral mix and what that has the benefit of is those cows have gone out on pasture for those six weeks and have cleaned up a whole bunch of parasites that overwintered as larvae and they've been eating and eating and eating those ones up as well and they're just at the precipice of when they're gonna start shedding more and more eggs later in the season if it's a high burden pasture so we hit them with the on pasture dewormer and cleans them out so it cleans up the pasture and it also has really good returns so if you look at all the literature of what it does for the cow or what it does for her weaned calf is about 28 pounds of extra weight of weaned calf which is spectacular in the u.s they have way more options for this uh, fenbendazole you can have it in crumbles you can have it in pellets range pellets in canada we do have the crumbles but they're quite a bit more expensive uh, so that's why we just get the premix mixed up in mineral that's what I know about parasites. This sun is going to be extremely distracting. The one other thing with the cut is question of the day. So question of the day, I'm going to ask a question. I want you to comment below on my question. So today's question is, what is your deworming strategy in your cow herd? If you don't have cows, just make one up. Just be like, my pretend herd would get this. All right, see you next time.
damn it, I forgot two more things. 90% of the parasites in the grass, they are in the bottom four inches of that grass. And 75% of those parasites are in the bottom two inches of grass. So the shorter you graze your grass, the more chance you're gonna have of them of your cows picking up parasites. And the last thing is biosecurity. So when you're buying cows and have new cows coming into pastures that you have, you have to consider what is their worm burden? Have You have no idea. Have they been treated? Are they from a really terribly infected pasture? So it's good to talk to your veterinarian about a biosecurity program, perhaps treating them on arrival with a combination therapy to wipe the parasites out on those cows. Okay, that's everything. Now I'm done, I swear.